how we open today's trading day on Frontier Opening Bell or across the African continent. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the show with me, Bosun Amofa. We saw uh, a number of African markets closing in the green territory yesterday on the back of uh, a bit of... Uh, what we call a sluggish start, as it were, to the start of the new week. The GSE uh, was very strong, by the way, after Europe closed very strongly uh, in the green, 2.95%, roughly 3%. The Nairobi was uh, heading uh, into the new week with a very strong finishing line on Monday, 2.6%. The Nigeria market was up by about 0.02% on the back of Airtel Africa, 10% optic. BVR VM Composite was up by half a percent, and EJ the Egyptian market after a very sluggish or negative start on Sunday uh, started the full week with the rest of the market of the continent 1.08% in the green territory. That's just uh, put all that uh, to uh, aside and, and get into one of the big stories. President Uhuru Kenyatta is expected uh, to get the third tranche of disbursement from the IMF who respects the executive board of the International Monetary uh, Fund to approve that on Monday. Just all of that ahead of Kenya's next uh, ele general elections in August, a few weeks' time, when President uh, Kenyatta will be leaving office. Uh, Kenya has and Guinea Bissau said they are uh, working towards an agreement to boost economic and social uh, cooperation. And Uganda's executives are on a roadshow right now around the world looking for international investors to support the country's multi billion dollar refinery and oil gas pipeline, which has gotten some pushback from, in, from environmental activists and some banks in the developed markets. And Indonesia says it wants the African Union to sit at the next at the table of the next meeting of the G20 meeting. It will be the first time ever that the African Union, African leaders will be invited to the G20 meeting. Indonesia says you need to discuss the state of the global economy. You don't need to exclude anyone. And Africa as a continent needs to sit at the same table. In West Africa, a very busy day for Nigeria starting from Monday with the Debt Management Office 240 billion July Naira bond auction. Today is a whole lot bigger. The head of the WTO, World Trade Organization, Tatongozo Kunju, well, is uh, uh, in the country to meet with the officials of the Ministry of Industry and Trade and Investment as part of the uh, uh, outcome of the last WTO conference, which was done in the month of June. This morning, as well, in, in Abuja, Nigeria's president, Muhammad Bugari, is unveiling the new uh, commercial entity that will be known as NNPC Limited, which operates as under the company an allied matters act and as a limited liability uh, company. And later in the day, uh, in the afternoon, lunchtime is the briefing by the Central Bank of Nigeria on the July monetary policy interest rate direction. Quite a whole lot on the table today. In the meantime, the FDB has signed four hundred and sixty thousand dollars deal with the of funding support with the Securities and Exchange Commission of Nigeria uh, for further automation of the regulatory. Uh, uh, technology that the SEC uses to supervise and superintend the country's capital market. And the Bank of Ghana is now deploying the purchase of gold in the country as a strategy to um, uh, reduce the level of borrowings by the country as well as manage is the country's exchange rate, the city against the dollar. In Southern Africa, the whole uh, uh, plan by MTN to take over or completely by our telecom has the fixed network of the country at the back of that conversation. It's going to be a whole lot of regulatory hurdle for MTN to secure telecom, which is partly owned by the South African government. And all the four refineries in South Africa are now down. They've been shut down because of power outages. And that's coming through from Sasso, which is the country's number one energy provider. And South Africa may limit the power cuts this week to about 2,000 megawatts through uh, ESCOM, which is the national utility trying to get back on its footing. Zimbabwe is, uh, central bank is looking to meet retailers over rising prices as inflation in uh, the southern African country hits uh, the, triple, the triple digit uh, in, month or two ago. And let's uh, get on to the North African market where we'll uh, wrap it up this morning. It's going to be a whole lot for the North African economies with Morocco looking to launch uh, Rabat's 
uh, fares, highway speed. The idea by the authorities in Morocco is to link some of the big cities with what's called a high-speed rail network to open up commerce, trade, tourism, leisure, hospitality. But the dirham is down slightly, roughly 1% against the U.S. dollar and the money market uh, trying to rebound after the uh, uh, the Eid al Adha uh, holiday, which was uh, most of last week. And Africa's largest renewable uh, IPP, independent power production, which is called the Lekela Power, uh, is now to be sold. It's about $1 billion deal, uh, which will now be sold to Africa Finance Corporation and Infinity Group of Egypt. And Libya, one of Africa's uh, major oil producers, says its oil exports and productions are now fully back on stream after the uh, CEO of the National Oil Corporation was removed from office. And that's your frontier. Let's get Wednesday. Uh, Tuesday started, everyone. Uh, I'll see you again tomorrow, Wednesday. Have a great day.